Welcome, my name is Shelby Jr. Now, President William Ruto has announced that Kenya is set to manufacture the cheapest smartphones in Africa within a year, whose cost will be less than 5,000 shillings. President Ruto, speaking at a micro, small and medium enterprises MSMEs roundtable forum on Thursday morning, said that having a cheap smartphone will ensure that all Kenyans can access digital platforms for businesses and accessing government services. Millicent Luamba brings us that report. Moses Kuria, can you respond to Esther? Come here. <laughs> President William Ruto has announced that the government is working on a plan to have locally manufactured mobile phones which will cost less than 5,000 shillings in the next one year. Dr. Ruto noted that the move which he says will see Kenya boost of the cheapest smartphones in Africa coincides with the government's plan of leveraging technology to make it efficient and effective. Employment is going to be ready and available if we can ensure that we spread technology, we have financing, and that is why we talked about the superhighway. The superhighway is supposed to do two things, to make sure that the country is connected, and I'm happy again to announce here that the real last mile in technology is the gadget. And already we are working with our tel telcos, our telecommunication uh, 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 sector, so that we can have a smartphone that is going to be less than 5,000 shillings. A smartphone that can do everything that you want. A smartphone that can make sure Today, the cheapest smartphone is 10,000, maybe 15,000. We want to see whether we can get it to 30 or 40 dollars. And I want to promise the country that in the next 8 to 12 months, we will have the cheapest smartphone in Africa, manufactured in Kenya. The head of state cited that making the country fully connected through technology is among the primary agendas of the Kenya Kwanzaa government and he has already set in motion talks with the telecommunication sectors on manufacturing cheap phones. President Ruto was speaking at the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry KNCCI annual general meeting in Nairobi on Thursday. He was went on to add that he intends to have government services digitalized to grant citizens the advantage of seeking services remotely. And I confirm that there exist promising opportunities for the private sector to invest in key development projects in various sectors under the PPP model and we will deliberately create opportunities for the private sector to tap into key development projects through this partnership. Case in point is our housing program. We have said deliberately that 40% of all our investments and work under the affordable housing plan will be done by micro and small enterprises in the Juakali sector and other sectors. And already they have demonstrated capacity to do it. Is his this, he said, will move to 90% in the next 6 to 19 months from the current 15%. President Ruto added that the platform will also allow a seamless collection of taxes. He said he has plans to incorporate many more government projects into the digital space, including the superhighway and cut national expenditure. Ruto noted that the move will which he says will see Kenya boost of the cheapest smartphones in Africa coincides with the government's plan of leveraging technology to make it efficient and effective. I have a strong program to support the establishment of innovation hubs for the development of skills, talent, and incubation of startups. 
and the whole array of um, uh, services and uh, um, funding uh, instruments from uh, funding startups to making sure that we have venture capital so that we can do more research and more um, trials of what works. Your Excellency, you have indicated, and rightly so, that your administration has brought a new management style of continuous engagement with stakeholders. And that is why for the last one month, you have engaged the Kenya Zishon Manufacturers. You are here today. You are the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And you have created time for the creators of wealth. These people, Your Excellency, to be truthful, had been incited against us. They were told we are bad people. <laughs> that we don't mean well for business. That we only care about the hustlers. They even went ahead to threaten them that we can take away their wealth and the balance we give it to the hustlers. These people now know that we are the people they needed around this country. Promise me that going forward, yeah, they will leave politics to politicians and work to build the chamber so that we can be able to work together. And I want to promise them that even us, as Kenya Kwanzaa government, we are not going to ask of you to do politics on our behalf. We, all we are going to ask of you is please manage business, help the SMEs, help to grow our exports, help to grow our manufacturing, our politics we can do for ourselves. Mili Saint Luamba, Maisha Prime News, Maisha Television.